yes good people welcome back to the channel so today you're going to be cooking with a mink manifesto it's late morning i am absolutely hank marvin i don't know breakfast today so i think what we need to do is jump in the back of the van and cook us up a bit of a breakfast bap oh yeah so we're now in the back of the van it is a very cold windy miserable day out there and i definitely need so much to warm myself up so i got my bag of goodies and i'll um Give a little run through what we got. So I have got a couple of Cumberland sausages. These are just at a Tesco supermarket. They're like two pound for eight. And I've also got some black pudding. Oh, food of champions. So black pudding, if you don't know, is basically pig's blood, fat, barley and oats. And it is a bit of a superfood. It's high in protein and high in iron so with the sausages and the black pudding we're definitely getting a nice portion of protein today so for our breakfast bap i've got these white soft rolls i've also got some daddy's brown sauce because i'm not a ketchup man on my breakfast food brown sauce all the way ideally hp but daddy's is pretty good then i wash it down i've got a can of pepsi max so i think what i need to do now is set up all the cooking Paraphernalia, and let's put the heat to the meat. But it's starting to rain out there, so I know where I'd rather be. So we're using my portable gas stove. And to cook on, we're using my good old trusty Ridge Monkey. If you haven't got one of these, these are brilliant for camping. Oh, you get effing packs down into a little storage case. There is a smaller one that it comes with to make it easier to stick in a backpack or whatever. But I'm in a camper van and this is the setup I like. So you get the handles, you got two sides to the Ridge Monkey. And inside you do get some utensils. So if you're out while camping or going for a hike or something, you've got some utensils to help you cook with, but I don't need them today. So the handles just clip in that way and these handles have got magnets on both the handles there so that keeps that lock shut so you can cook and flip stuff around nice and easy if you're making like stuff that don't give off a lot of fat sandwiches sandwich toaster kind of set up that is ideal but for what we need today I don't need that top handle because that catches the top. I'm just using the top today as more of a splash guard. All right, so let's put the heat to the meat. We don't need this overly hot today. Get a bit of spray oil. Sausages take a little bit longer than the black pudding, so I'm gonna put them in first. just heat them up brown them off just for a couple of minutes and then we'll stick the black pudding in just spreading that oil around a little bit we're gonna stick the black pudding in now maybe stick a bit more oil on that now my dad he's from the Black country, he used to be a butcher, and he'll eat black pudding raw. <laughs> Hardcore. But no, I like it, well done, especially in a breakfast bat. Oh, look at that. So while that's sizzling away, I'm going to start getting the roll ready. Just going to have the one today. These are Good size rolls. Now personally, I don't really have butter on my breakfast baps. I just like going straight in with a sauce. So we're gonna put some brown sauce on there. Plenty of that. Oh yeah. Lovely jubbly. So 
All right, so we're getting a nice bit of colour on the black pudding now and the sausages. Oh, that one's a little bit toasty. Oh, lovely. Right, so what I want to do now, now I've incinerated the sausages, is cut them in half, but not all the way through. Like that. And then on that one. Just to help cook the, the middles a bit, because this Ridge Monkey, even if you have it on quite low, it still cooks pretty hot. With the black pudding, yeah, that's, that's looking good. Oh, lovely, that smells damn good. Nice. Oh, no. Nice. So we're getting a nice bit of charring on the inside as well. So I think we are done now. So I'm going to have the sausages on the bottom. Oh, that smells good. Oh, have to overlap a little bit. That's okay. Let me get our black pudding and stick that on top. Just like that. Nice. Okay, so let's get stuck into this. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. They are actually pretty good sausages. I know they're only just a cheapo Tesco ones, but they're pretty darn good. Oh. Give you a little close-up of that. Oh, yeah. You just can't beat a breakfast bap. Mm. Whether it's egg and bacon, sausage and egg, sausage black pudding, it's all damn good. Mm. And these rolls are nice and soft. Mm -mm. And we've got sauce dripping out, so we know where uh, until winner. Mm. Mm. Now we've hit the black pudding. Mm. But if you've not tried black pudding, people say it's disgusting because it's pig's blood, but what goes into sausages, you know what I mean? I love black pudding. Very unique flavour and it's pretty darn good for you. Mm. Combination of the bread, the black pudding, the sausages, the brown sauce, to me, that is my favourite breakfast bat. Mm. Wipe that brown sauce off me. I have got it everywhere. I need a quick drink. Pepsi Max. Ah, cheers. Ice cold. But yeah, on a cold day like today. Mmm. Breakfast bap definitely warms you up. I used to be a market trader and work in the cold. And middle of winter, as soon as the burger trucks opened, I was grabbing something like this to warm me up. Mm. But when you're out camping, this is good comfort food. Mm. I'll definitely see you through till lunchtime. Oh. Mm -mm. Well, that was that good. I could eat that again. Whew. Well, I definitely ain't cold now. That's warming up. But yeah, nice, simple, easy food to cook in your camper van or even in your tent with a little gas burner. Nice and simple, good food. Tastes really good. That breakfast bap definitely hit the spot. So every Wednesday, what I want to start doing now is these camper van food videos, whether I'm at my home location, 
in the countryside or parked in a random car park somewhere I think that's something we can do every week is cook myself some up in the van so if you got any ideas for recipes or things you'd like to see me cook in the van just hit me in the comments section below I'll do some of my favorite classics but if you've got something a little bit fancier but I like to keep it simple simple cooking food you can do in your camper van or in your tent or if you're just out in the wild having a picnic somewhere something you can cook up easy minimal amount of cooking equipment or utensils that kind of thing so I'm not going to be making any Gordon Ramsay or Jamie Oliver recipes where you got to take half your kitchen with you <laughs> that just don't cut the mustard so yeah proper good old-fashioned camp food or breakfast or lunch or dinner whatever so every Wednesday I'll definitely be dropping a, a cooking with a meat manifesto video so if you're new to the channel I also do stealth camping whether it be in my van in my car and I'll soon be doing some wild camping as well once the weather gets a little bit better. So if there's something you like, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me behind the scenes stuff of what's going on with the Meat Manifesto on Instagram and Facebook. So that'll do for today. Thanks for watching. See you all very soon. Peace.